Hey guys, in today's video, we'll explore Order's dynamic content feature. And this is basically content that changes based on various factors such as logged in, user status, post status, time and date, and so on. So without further ado, let's go ahead and explore some examples. Okay, so we are in the WordPress editor and we'll start with this post. And we can click on any block to add dynamic content. Just click on this down arrow in the toolbar and we'll start with dynamic link. So once we click on it, we can see an option to choose a data type. And the options here are various links we can insert into our content. And then we can choose whether or not we want to open our link in a new tab. Now, the other option we have is dynamic value. So if we do the same thing, we'll just click on dynamic value. And under data type, we can see that we have way more options, which are divided into various categories. So some data types are available in the free version of order, while others are only available in the pro version. So that's something you need to look out for when using this feature. Today we are using Order Pro, so we'll have access to all data types. All right, so for our example, we'll do something very simple. Let's create a go home link using dynamic links. So I'll type in go home and then I'll highlight it. Then I'll click on the down arrow. And from there, I'll click on dynamic link. Under data type, I'll select site URL and click on apply. And that's it. Now we can go ahead and see what this looks like. So we can either preview or update the page. I'll click on update and I'll click on view post. So if we scroll all the way down, we have our go home link. All right, so now we can take a look at another example using custom layouts. So I'll hover over appearance on the left hand side and I'll click on custom layouts. And for our next example, I'll just edit an existing custom layout. So let's use single post title. So the text you're seeing displayed right now is called a magic tag. And previously, this is what we used to display content dynamically. Now, thankfully, we have an easier method. So instead of having to type all of this, what we can do is just clear this and type in a percentage symbol. And on this list of dynamic values, we'll choose post title. Now, the custom layout rules are already configured. You can also style your heading using the options on the right. In our case, we don't need to. So let's preview. And once the page loads, we'll see an example of the header. So here it is. Let's go back to the editor and we'll click on update. Okay, so let's go ahead and see what it looks like on one of our posts. So we can just go back to all posts and open one of them. Maybe this one. So we can see that the title now matches the post that we're accessing. And this will happen automatically for each post that we access. We can take this a step further by adding a date to the bottom of this post title. So let's type a percentage symbol. Let's choose post date. Now we need to center align this text. Okay, now let's click on update. All right, and if we go back to the post preview and refresh the page, we'll see the date for this post at the bottom. Now for our final example, we'll be using advanced custom fields and already have this installed. We can see it over on the left-hand side. We're using the free version of this plugin, which you can find in the WordPress repository. Just install and activate it. Once you're done, hover over it on the left and click on add new. Okay, and let's add a field group title. I'll call this Digital Nomad. And we'll move to field type. We'll keep it as text. Field label will be location. And if you click on field name, it will populate automatically. Let's make Florida our default value and close the field. At the top, we'll click on add field. Now for this one, we can select image from this list. For the field label, we can type in something like image of location. And remember the field name gets added automatically once you click on it. So here we can keep these default settings and we'll click on close field. And also based on this rule, our custom field will be available if the post type is equal to post. This rule is fine, so we'll click on save changes. So we are done configuring ACF. Let's go over to the left hand side and click on posts, then all posts. If we scroll down, we'll see our custom field at the bottom, digital nomad. So we have our default value in the location field. Let's change this to Hungary. Okay, now let's move to the next field, which is image of location. Let's click on add image. And on this page, we can click on media library. And we'll choose the image of the guy on the bench. Okay, that's fine. We have used both of our custom fields. Let's add our dynamic values. So I'll just type in written by and let's access the toolbar. Click on the drop down. We're not using a dynamic link, so let's use dynamic value. And this time the data type will be the author name. Now under advanced, we can add a before and after text. For after, I'll just type in a comma and click on apply. So that's a quick example of the after text. So I'll continue by typing a digital nomad working from, let's use the percentage symbol. And now we can select advanced custom field. Now we need to click on the tag 
And we set the data type already, so we need to go to settings and under meta key, we'll select location. Now in the advanced tab, we can add some before or after text, but I'll just add a period to the after text field. And once we're done, we can click on apply. Now below this, I'll type in slash image to add an image block. Let's go to media library and then dynamic images. So here we have a number of different image options to choose from, but we'll select ACF image all the way to the right. Now on the right hand side, we'll select the field that we want to get our image from, which is image of location. We can also add a link to a fallback image in case this image does not load. And we can click on select once we are happy with our settings. So right now we can see a gray representation of our image. And for now, that's just a placeholder, which will be updated shortly. Let's go ahead and update our page and we'll click on view post in the bottom left hand corner. So once our page loads, we'll scroll all the way down and we'll see the information that we just added written by Thomas, a digital nomad working from Hungary. And we have an image of Thomas at the bottom. All right, so now you should be able to use Otter's dynamic content feature. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to leave a like, comment, and subscribe to see more videos like this one. See you guys next time.